Good morning, everyone. Today is January 26th, Tuesday. I'm going to give you a quick um, market recap yesterday and what's going on today. Uh, U.S. stock were mixed in the volatile trading session Monday, despite positive futures. Dow Dow Industrial Average started with negative and NASDAQ positive. During the intraday, stock suddenly have dropped and Dow has widened the loss to 330 points, with NASDAQ over 150 points negative. GameStop made another big day with the stock continue widely against the short sellers. GameStop short sellers have lost $1.5 billion. Moderna surge as much as 12% after healthcare company said is COVID-19 as well as AMC, BlackBerry, and Bad Breath Beyond. Um, electronic vehicles did well in morning session but lost momentum to end with lower. While BIGC and e-commerce stock up 12% a lot from Shopify, positive for a day. Microsoft and Apple have also valued with expectation of meeting ex- earning, ex- earning expectations. Energy was the biggest silico sector in the world, weighed down by weaker oil prices amid ongoing worries of pand- pandemic fuel weakness in crude. Financials were dragged lower by decline in band stock, which continued their post earning weaknesses as global growth concerns. Dow ended at 3960.36, Nasdaq another record high at 13,635.99, and S&P 500 also up 0.36% at 3855.34. Asian stocks slid overnight while the dollar rose on Tuesday. U.S. futures are mixed with Dow being positive and Nasdaq is negative. This is leading by the earning announcements um, that came out after the trading hours in P market. 3M revenue came in as $8.58 billion, with an earning per share $2.38 beating expectations. Shares up 1.5% P market. Johnson & Johnson revenue is $22.48 billion, with earning per share at $1.86 beating both top and bottom line. P market price rise about 2%. RTX revenue is... 16.58 billion and earning per share is 74 cents, also beating expectations. Share is up 2.5 percent P market. My American Express reference slightly beat expectation and earning per share came in as dollar 76 better than expected, but P market price dropped slightly. Horizon revenue came in as 34 dollar 70 billion. Uh, th- well, revenue came in 34 70. 70 billion and earning per share dollar 21 but p market dropped one by one percent at 57 dollar 85 cents right now pacca roughly exceeded consensus but missed the earning per share target by four cents price is down 0.9 percent pre market uk unemployment hits highest level in five years but government support limits pain during new covid lockdown a huge earning week is getting started. Microsoft, Horizon, Johnson Johnson, which Horizon and Johnson and Johnson already announced, um, you know, they, they, the earnings earlier, you know, and some of the today's big names. On the data docket, U.S. API crude oil stock and consumer confidence will be the attention of traders. Upside price target in the S&P 500 derived from price action seen in AD 2020, with which when the index moved about 38.50 in past week, according to the bank. And February is one of the weakest months of the year of the stock market, Bank of America said. Exciting history, historical data going back to 1928. On average, stocks seen an average decline of 0.11% in the month of February, a median return of just 0.27% and a positive by 527 of the time. This is up from, from, from the Bank of America analysis. A combination of poor sincerity and tactical Tactic indicator could mean a sell off to S&P support near 3630, representing potential downsides of 5%. So this is just, again, citing from somebody researching on it. Um, February was a weaker month. We are on the last week of January. So um, th- th- expect a lot of volatility during this week and today. Um, probably just like yesterday, the market was up in the morning and suddenly everything pulled back and we bought later of the day. Which give me some purchase buying opportunity. I mean, you can you can set up some Luma buy and probably in a wider range as expected, and you will still probably be able to get it because when you in a sudden you know pullback, that you know there may be a percent two percent pullback and you had a chance getting it. 
then yet you're still making money on the day because you you know then you're coming back and it all depends on how the earning reaction that I just announced which pretty much typically no they all beating the earning expectation for the both top and bottom line but not necessarily surprise the Wall Street or investors so we will see how they reacted and then China stock office they pulled back significantly from from the market last overnight so I'm expecting stock like BAB Bay, Baba, Tencent, um, you know, Billy Billy potentially. I don't know about PDD and JD.com. Um, you know, those Papa will have some buy opportunity if you missed it yesterday. Want to get some international stock into your portfolio? Have a nice day.